Everything. It's your boy Shoebox, baby, and I'm rocking with What's the Word yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. You see, we in the trenches right now, live. Slack, come on. Let's go right there. <laughs> it just made me feel like I was shoot a real video. It's gonna be a vlog. It's high. What time is it outside? It's two o'clock. It ain't nobody outside. That's just this heat. Project right now, just kind of fluctuating between different people. Mostly artists, artists, creatives, community leaders. Okay. So how did you get to come over here? How did you get relationships with everybody over here? Uh, I started with the King Von Mural. Um, we had his um, management and family reach out to the mural movement, which is my nonprofit, and they wanted to do a mural of him. Um, at first, it wasn't supposed to be a parkway. It was supposed to, we were looking for different walls throughout the city, mainly in like West Loop, but it's really hard to get murals um, when you're starting to go north or anywhere in downtown. So we, we thought the perfect place would be across the street from Parkway. So we asked Parkway Gardens um, grocery store and they said, yeah. And so after the mural, I started to build a relationship with the residents and uh, started to throw community events. Okay. It seems like they love you over there. We're we about to take, whenever we get the interview started, we're going to take a trip over there to the mural. Okay. Uh, sounds cool with you? Yeah. Thank you for rocking out with us, man. It's been a wild day, man. I had a little crack in the rock last night. That's well, what I got, said, Dad. Well, well, I got streets blocked out. I'm thinking they finna get, I'm thinking they finna try to stop our car. I'm in there. Damn. Hey, Glee, three in the morning. Bloody set. You want to be Glee? Bloody set. It's crack. It was crack in the rock last night. She talking about, so that's what I try to tell you. Oh, what? What? She, she just said I heard he was cracking outside it last night. She thought that's why I was that's why I was pointing when I said no, like downtown. Shit or like downtown. downtown. It was cracking all through Chicago. Yeah, they got the streets blocked out. Yeah, you ain't packed out type shit. We going to we going to. It didn't take us like an hour to get there. Police because it was cracking. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying the city was hot. Like, <laughs> well, it was, was it was it a dick boy car or a blue white car? It was a blue and white car. I just said it. I thought she just said it was a dick boy car. I'm having an orgy. He said, hold on. I'm ready to fuck with you. Start an eight day socket to a nigga pocket. Put a nigga in my. What do you do? He do? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He is GD, though. He is. I know, no, 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 no. That's the wrong 
I just want big boots. I just want big boots. Y'all got me lost. Nah. Nah, y'all. 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 No, no, I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. He ain't even gonna get a be around until y'all let big boy get it. I'm talking about for next So these basketball rims are not always right here? No, I actually did this whole build out myself. Not literally hand for hand, but it's because I I came in here and I saw that they didn't have that. They had like a little regular uh, portable one. So my friends and I, we just pushed our money in together to get the professional rims. And then the Chicago Bulls paid for them to be customized by one of the artists that I work with. So we're still in the process of doing the build out. We still got to add some more stuff, but we, our plan is to uh, have an annual tournament for them. I will. I definitely will. Like, like I'm so used to this shit right here. When I go on sad blocks, I feel, I feel like, uh, -huh, I just feel like more alerted. Like, like you know, like way more alerted because it's like. I ain't used to this environment. Nah, I get that. I get that because I kind of, I'm kind of the opposite of you. Like my people was, I grew up in the projects and we left the projects to go to the side blocks and go to uh, places where we got, you know what I'm saying? Who was that? <laughs> that was a dude. <laughs> Oh, All right, we go, we go, we go, we go cut it. Oh, I know I just right here tweaked out though. Just looking at him, I know, I know I was just tweaked out. That was a dude. <laughs> Cody was just looking at his. Nah, y'all ain't giving it up out here like that over here. Nah. He's like, that's a boy though. He's like, I almost got somebody. Hey, I was just tweaked out. I was just looking at the. Oh, he's gone. Hey, he was gone. Hey. Hey, nah. hell no. Hey, man, we gotta stop that over. <laughs> hell no. Hey, dog, keep hey, that. Man, keep man, that right there. Keep that shit. Don't, 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 don't cut nothing. Don't cut nothing. Don't cut nothing. Hell no. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. That was the first one. Oh, hey, first one's just f***ing up in the head on the guy. You know what I'm saying? All right, come on, though. Let's get back to this. All right, we'll get back to the interview, man. That shit just threw me for a loop. So it's, it's, I, I see. 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 So it's, it's, I, I see over here, because I, I can't even, by me being from the crib, I can't even, I can't refer to it as the old. Like, I grew up calling the Parkway. Like, I yeah. had homies just there when I was going to school yeah. called Parkway. Um, actually, had homies just there in the uh, BD building over there. Can't like, maybe Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cousin was just there. Um, so, as we can see, getting back to the interview, it's always some, some surprises that you got. <laughs> yeah, I promise you. I was just saying that too. Like, just over here, it's this a, shit like a real fucking TV show. Like, this is a real TV show. Like, they asked me on off the, the off the porch um interview. They was like, um, what's some what's the craziest shit you seen? I'm like, damn, I ain't really seen nothing crazy. And I was like, nah, I take that back. The shit that's crazy to you is normal to me. Mm. So I don't know what the hell um crazy is. So uh, what you mean by that? You'll just be seeing shit. You're like, what the fuck? Like, that, for instance, just like, just, like, just, like, you're like, huh? Like, you'll just be like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, you'll be used to just seeing a lot of crazy shit. Getting, like, right when we put it up, we got, like, a lot of backlash. Everybody hated it, so he removed his name. But as it becomes still, like, a tourist spot, you know, I guess, yeah. Fuck on your sister. That's crazy. Fuck on your best friend. They're on court. Yeah, you 
gonna slow this bitch down. <laughs> Like we've been having like the most in eventful day, but not eventful. It's been the most enlightened day. Um, but we finally made it across the street to the mural. Um, over while we was walking over here, you were mentioning that the artist took his name off of it. Why did he take his name off of it? I feel like he took his name off of it because when we first completed the mural, we received a lot of like hate mail. Um, from all types of people, um, different neighborhoods, police, racist people. I feel like he kind of got a little nervous about it. Mm -hmm. Just move your hair. But, yeah, right. I feel the artist got a little nervous about it. He had called me um, at one time and said he thinks we should remove the mural. And I was like, nah, we definitely shouldn't do that. So I feel that he removed his name because he didn't want people to know he did it mm -hmm. but he might feel different about it now because it's still around people are still appreciating it but it has a lot to do with all the backlash we received in the beginning I mean who I mean just being being transparent right like um, like the same questions, kind of like how transparent we was in the interview. Uh, <laughs> what's happening? Hey. Oh, you folks. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, hey folks. Hey. How you doing? Huh. You over giving the interview? Yeah. Hey. Real deal. She knows she's talking about. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they love you over here. Definitely love you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I guess what I guess what I want to know is now. I guess what the, the all right. Pretty transparency, writing it on the wall. Vaughn allegedly was a known quote unquote demon in the streets, right? He was violent. They say he a murderer. And I guess the backlash from that is, is that we're, what we're highlighting by putting a mural of somebody of that caliber, what that means, what that symbolizes, that it's okay to be that. So I would feel like that's probably the main reason why you're getting the pushback. To that, you say what? I don't focus on that negative uh, rumors or that story. I really focus on the fact that he took came, care of his neighborhood. He might have traveled or he became a really popular rapper, but he always came back to give back to his neighborhood. He never forgot about his homies, never forgot about his friends. From all the things I know about him, he was a giver to his people. He was bringing his people up with him. And I try to focus on that narrative more than on some like rumors that we've heard. No. So, plan to keeping it here? My plan is to keep it here forever. Um, I know that we probably have to refreshen things up. The owner is now appreciating it as well. So, um, yeah, just to keep just to keep it alive every year. We come for his birthday. Um, we lay out candles and roses. We did a balloon release for his birthday this past birthday. So, my year, my goal is to keep the mural up and keep doing community events that represent who he was to his own community. Okay. You you seem like you real plugged and you real well loved in this neighborhood, in this Parkway Gardens neighborhood. Um, you help out a lot of people, do a lot of things. We, I just peeped that just by being with you this, this, this past few hours. Um, I, I just saw, I'm not just saw, I remember when the concert they were supposed to have with a mission with a few artists and you had this long statement that you put on Instagram about like uh, it's a system basically saying it's a trap like y'all these kids are in this environment to make them do forces them to do certain things but when they try to make it out y'all stop them from doing it yeah so like do you feel like the city is not doing enough to even like get the kids or the people in this community or resources and a chance to grow uh, opposed to just, you know what I'm saying, just always giving some negative shit. 
instead of just, you know what, we're going to get him a shot to do something bigger, no matter what the history, like at Devon, no matter the history of what he has come from, let's take, let's take an account of, of where, he, where he ended, where he was at and where he was going before he died. Do you feel like the city give, it to, uh, give people from this community a, ch a chance to do that? Well, just by driving in, when you get off of um, the, the freeway coming in, if you're coming here at night, you can see that the lighting's bad. There's a lot of abandoned lots. There's no murals around here. There's no gardens. Where's the playgrounds at? There's now a basketball court on behalf of me and my team. So one, there's already lack of beauty in this area. So how are the residents gonna even be like so proud to wanna take care of it? Or I just, you could just tell by this environment that it looks different from the north side, from the suburbs. So that's one, just the look. Two, lack of resources in this community, lack of after-school programming, healthy food options, where's the Whole Foods, where's those things? So right there, there's already a barrier for, for them to be great. Then there's a lot of talented people like what you were saying earlier. So the thing is, is like the media and the police, they always wanna say, oh, this is a bad area, these people are bad. But me, I think, well, why? Why is it bad? What, like what happened to them to, want, to make them wanna do these things? So I like to dig deep into that and then I go, okay, cool. So now they're trying to make it out. They're trying to be successful and be productive. But when they try to do that, there's also another barrier and it's, it's the police. So we can't sit there and point the finger, oh, they're bad, they're bad, they do this. And we're not allowing them to prosper or be great either. Like how do you expect someone to change their narrative if you're stopping them every time they try to do something that could possibly make them successful and also change their own environment? So I just get really disappointed because I see that and I've been part of trying to help them change their own narrative, but I see the roadblocks because I'm here with them and I see it happen. Even down to the mural, when the mural was first here, the police didn't like it. Now we have rappers that are like, cool, I want to throw a show at an all ages venue and I want my family to come and I want all my homies to be part of it. And we plan this whole thing and then the day before that gets canceled. So it's like, what do you expect people to do? What, how do you expect them to be great if you're, we're not beautifying the area, we're not providing resources, we're not giving them opportunities, and we're not motiv motivating them to be great? We're actually just holding them back. I guess everything you said is true, right? So I guess what the people, because it's like every time you do something, people have an issue with it. Like, it's, it's always an issue every time you do something, right? So I'm guessing my, my, my question to you is, is that why Parkway? What made you feel like, yo, I'm going to just come to Parkway and I'm about to help out? Well, first things first, I don't just come to Parkway. I go to every neighborhood. I go to every Good question. type of neighborhood, every different nationality. It doesn't matter. Wherever the people need my help, need resources, need beautifying, I'm going to be there. This is a very special area to me because it all started with me doing this mural. And when I was completing the mural, I was already getting backlash. but. It was kind of weird to hear the backlash from the outside, but all the people here were showing us so much love. So I'm like, wait, like this is so weird. Why does everybody hate this area when this area, out of all areas I've been to, shows me the most love? So some of the homies from across the street invited me and my peers in, and we go in there, and everybody's like so welcoming, showing us love, and it's just like families and kids, and I'm like, this is weird because Everybody told me not to come here, but I find myself wanting to come here because I get the most love here. And they appreciate me and my presence the most and all the things that I'm doing. So why would I not continue to come here when I feel great when I come here? I have fun, the people show us love, they help us out. So that's why it's, Parkway holds a special place in my heart. And now that I've been here and I know some of their stories and their traumas and I know how they're living, that there's no playgrounds, there's no art, I feel it's my duty to bring that to the area because I'm really good at that. Come mm. here, but oh wow! Y'all yeah. drove all the way that from Missouri. So cool. uh -huh. Just to come see, that's what I'm talking that's about. That's what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Okay, away from Missouri. It, it brings it's attention. Y'all want to come to attention. Chicago at all? Well, that's, this is what mainly we was coming here for. Like uh -huh. I said, I want to come here for. You see the Vaughn. So what? What yeah. is it about King Vaughn that that y'all? His music, like his stories, his like just everything. Like what is book for him? Like I'm coming. Right across the street. I just so like it's a
Cause y'all like living proof to show how positive this yes, program actually really is. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody across the street is super cool. It's the reason why people have that like scared narrative, it has a lot to do with social media and YouTube like, oh, that like make that people scared. Yeah. And it's really not. I mean, there's a, like anywhere you go in Chicago or Missouri, there's dangerous parts everywhere. But it doesn't mean that the people like are completely just like dangerous. There's like they show us so much love here and. It's really just social media that makes people think that way. You gotta get to know a person to yeah, so like, know a understand person. them yeah, better than, yeah, yeah. than not just always see the negative side about a person. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And if and if they have like a negative narrative about them, like I always like, why? Where did they come from? What happened to them? Like, like is it a bad stuff? Then like just writing them off. You guys pulled up at the perfect time. We were literally yeah, we were just talking about the simple <laughs> like, yeah, let us know because we didn't know what y'all was doing with the scene. Do you want me to take a picture? Hey, uh huh. What's up? What's the word? 